Oh, there's the saddlebag protectors. So we've got two six inch pieces of uh, extruded aluminum on both sides. There's a, it actually fits the tailpiece shape as well. So from the top to the bottom, it looks pretty similar. And uh, I will keep a little bit of oil off my uh, tailpiece from the chain, hopefully. But those bags are off the risk of getting caught up in the rear wheel now. And that's pretty stiff, 1 8 aluminum. So, we got some clear floor space in here. We got that bike in here. We're organizing, but we're not throwing out yet. So we're still picking bolts up. I'm going to have a half a, a bucket full of bolts, which is great. We uh, have the uh, Zener diode, the negative ground Zener diode now, so I'm going to try to install that today, and then we'll see if LEDs blow. The good thing about this tachometer is that it cuts out at 14 volts, so if it's over voltage, it will shut off and uh, reset. So that should not have that happen now that I put the Zener diode in when I get that done today. And it should be dumping voltage at 14 volts, not going above and triggering that to shut off. Now if that's shutting off at 13.5 then I'm still in trouble and it shuts off when I put the Zener diode in so we will definitely find out if that is the case but there we go we got the safe rear bag protectors. I'm not sure if I'll paint them or not but I sort of like them aluminum. In the muffler I added 17 inches in this section of tubing I don't have it right here, but I cut a piece of 1 and 3 eighths tubing, put a bunch of baffle cuts in it and bent them, and put that in that whole section in the front from there. Then I've got some in the back still, and it's still crazy loud. So I would definitely have to make a more sophisticated baffle for the larger section in the middle, that 17-inch uh, section to the back divider, which is right there on that lip area. So, there you go. Have a good day, guys. See you soon.